Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic, and we continue on with the 4th of July event 2021, and last time we were able to complete another portion of the Tags mission. We were able to get all the historic rainbow trout, we got the metal relic chest, we got the fifth sword, or at least portion of the sword, now we're headed to the Everglades for the next part of the fish tag coordinates mission number six. And the last portion is to catch historic common snook using the Salu Nymphs 4 inch. Now I believe I've already got this set up in my inventory. I'm trying to remember if I put it on, let's see, yes, right here, let's see. That's the old glory grub. Here it is. I've got the Salu nymphs on my River Tech Sal monster, eight foot by two inch. This one can go down to a five eighth ounce of a lure, up to two ounces. I've got a redfish reel with 35 pound test. This only goes up to 42 for the River Techs. I've got 35 pound test line, a titanium leader. I may or may not need well with the snook I might need it at 41 pounds that's probably a little too strong but I'll just have to really watch but I don't have any titanium leaders that fall under that I think I've got everything set up good enough this particular jig head is at six sevenths of an ounce so I kind of got it light and a four aught hook if that doesn't work, we may have to go up to get a six aught, maybe a little heavier, but it, we can go up to two ounces, so that's not really a problem. So let's go ahead and check the globe here. We are going to the Everglades. And we know we have to go to the brackish part of this waterway. And that would be over here at the Salty Delta. Let's go ahead and pick a private room because I have a feeling this place is going to be packed. All right, I am going to check our peak times. The peak times seem to affect the snook to some degree as opposed to the rainbow trout. So we're going to come over here and get ready to do this. Now I have caught them pretty much anywhere in this area over here and over here plenty of times. I've even caught them over here a few times. So we're just going to give it a shot over in these locations. But I think I might advance time just a well yeah just a little bit. Just an hour. That'll get us more into the peak. And I'm going to cast it just beyond those stick-ups and lilies right there. Seems like every time I have fished here and at the uh, blue crab, I've caught them around stick-ups. Seems like they like to hang out in those locations. I'm going to try for a stop and go. I don't really think they have a preference, but stop and go, lift and drop. Ah, looks like I got another snag here. Yep, there's a cannonball, guys. <laughs> That's how you get them. Any one of these historic spots, you can, if you get a snag along the way, you can get a cannonball. As a matter of fact, there might be a place to shoot one off around here. I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. He kind of caught me by surprise. I was getting ready to think nothing was going to bite. <laughs> There we go. 
I think this is what we're after. No, it is just a common snook. Not a historic one. Dang, nab it. Well, at least they know you know they go for it. Make sure that there's nothing. Four inch. That's what it says. Let me check my gear here. I might have a heavier one. This can go up to two ounces. The six saw. Uh, that's it says too heavy. Why is that too heavy? It shouldn't be. Well, let's try a little heavier one here. This will give us a little more distance anyway. A lot more distance. Now what I was doing was holding it up like this. It will give you a lift and drop if you only crank it three times. So we leave you at least two, two dots. Afraid I had another cannonball. <laughs> Got a trophy cat, gaff top sail catfish at the last minute. Everglades Exploration 2 is completed. That's not bad. Whoa! Right there at the last minute, but it's still just a regular common snook. What is going on? Can't seem to get the historic ones. I did. Yeah, I'm still tracking the missions. Hmm. Kind of weird. There we go. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Let's get ready to say. Don't tell me this is yet another common snook of the ordinary variety. It's a trophy common snook. Still, <laughs> just a regular one. Damn. Uh, 649, not bad, but not what we're after. There we go. Again, the very last minute, it seems to be. Finally. First one, guys. It took a while, but there he is. About the size of a trophy. 
There's this little bit of uh, metal on the side. Let's take a look at him here. Yeah, pretty decent sized fish. The only thing is with the shots, you can't see the little metal. You just see the little hook on the side. We'll go ahead and get a picture of him anyway. Alright, let's keep him. That's one of four. <laughs> Let me see here. Let's get my let me get my map out here. Let's see. That was the last place for the common snook. It's darn close to the same place that this guy was caught. A little further out. Now I was doing this a little bit faster than normal. It was still a stop and go. I've tried lift and drop, and I got the regular snook that way. So I think either of those presentations will work. It just it's a matter of timing and luck in some cases, I guess. There we go. Boy, he hit that hard. Yep, three notches, stop and go, or lift and drop. And we are more into the peak at this point, so I think that's another factor. Got his head up above the water. Shouldn't be any trouble bringing him in. Here's the second one. Yes. Looks like we got us another one here. New personal record, 34.242 pounds. So this is the biggest one I've caught so far. Yeah, I had to advance the night because I was running out of peak time. Oh yeah, he's, he's good size. a nice fish. Now we just have one more guys. This has not been really very easy to do. They are difficult to catch. Well, they're not difficult to catch. They're difficult to find. Catching them is easy. Plus you get a lot of the regular common snook biting on here. I went ahead and also upsized to a 6 odd hook. I was hoping that with a larger size hook, even though the weight's a little less, maybe the smaller snook won't be attacking it. Getting a lot of snags though.
Yeah, just one more fish. There we go. Now that was on a stop and go. So you can get them on a stop and go, but I guess the three notches just seems to work better with these guys. They like to attack fast moving lures. Well, this guy's. up the tension a little bit. And yes, I do. I will up the drag, but I just don't always think about it when I'm in the middle of the fight. I think this is him. No, but it is a unique common snook. Wow. Okay, that is my personal best so far. I thought I caught a unique before. Well, maybe not one this big. Let me see here. Ah, there you go, guys. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Not for a bad night's work. Get a picture of him, too. Hmm. Well, that was not bad and totally unexpected. So it's the peak of the night time that you gotta fish to get the uniques. That explains a lot. And there's another one. This might be our last historic, guys. Yeah, the stop and go, keeping it. I think this get the six out was the trick, I swear. As soon as I switched, they really started biting. Even more. Nope, just a regular common. Shoot. <laughs> We're getting them, we're just not getting everything that we want to get. Yeah, I just kind of kept it in the middle there as much as I could and off the bottom. And there we go. We figured out the technique. Uh-oh, that's what I was afraid was going to happen. See, he could have gotten off the hook. That tension was all the way to nothing. And that's the last one, guys. The last of the 
Historic Common Snook. 1796. We'll keep him. Fish tag coordinates 6. Well done. You've got the final coordinates. Time to head to San Joaquin Delta. So there is a canoe there that we have to get the last of the relics. 16,000 cash. That is not bad at all. There it is. The San Joaquin Sunken Canoe. The final shard. Five more bait coins. A, the historic fish tag point to a spot in the San Joaquin Delta. Find the sunken canoe and fish around that area to catch an old relic chest containing the final missing fragment of George Washington's sword. Now I have seen that canoe when I was fishing for the historic striped bass and I actually tried to see if I could snag it then but apparently you have to have followed the order of the missions to make it you know basically available well there's not a whole lot more we can do here but I might just hang around and see if I can't get some more here might as well get some more XP and cash or whatever guess I kind of want to test this technique a little bit more for future reference <laughs> But yeah, you see how I'm keeping it right in the middle? That has been what they've been going for hard. I have to try some other lures in the same manner. Look at that. There it goes again. This is probably a regular one. Well, maybe not. Yeah, it is. But, as I just said, the technique is very valid. This particular lure works extremely well once you know how to do it. Looks like I got me a, yet another one here. Okay, he is a little bit stronger than the last one. This might be another unique, guys. Honest to God. Could I actually get two in one night? Come on, guy. Okay, I think, yeah, I think we got him, guys. Now, 
Nope, it's just a historic, but he was a tough old bird. All right, we'll keep him. Well, guys, I tell you, this is the gear that I was using. I did use my Salmonster 8 foot by 10 in 2 inch, I'm sorry, not 10 inch, 42 pound test. I would say a rod that's equivalent to that. I was using 35 pound test and the Redfish 4500 with 35 pound max drag. Of course, we were using the Salu Nymphs 4 inch. But I think this is what really made the difference. I think it was this six aught hook, and it was about a one and one sixteenth out weight. And I was using a stop and go and keeping it in the middle, and that seemed to be what attracted them. I was really getting a lot of them. Check this out, guys. Look at all these. Many of them just regular common snooks, but we got one unique. One trophy and a whole bunch of historics. That's not bad, not bad at all, considering all the. That was like 308 pounds of fish there. Yeah, it's almost morning, and I don't know if I can get any more, but I think this is the end of this episode. I need to be careful about my tension. I keep hitting that plus, and it keeps taking my drag all the way up. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic, the 4th of July event. And I think we just caught us... Nope, I thought we caught us another cannonball. Well, wait a minute. Just one thing before we leave. One thing before we leave. Let's check to see if there's a place to shoot off a cannonball here, guys. I might not be at this lake. But there was one over at San Joaquin for sure. In St. Croix. Okay, it would either be back there or non-existent. There's nothing there. No cannon there. Okay, there's a flag. There's a cannon, okay. Just got some fireworks. And we got a Stars and Stripes Shad 2 inches placed in our backpack. Not too bad. Alright. Anyway guys, as I said before, aim straight, cast forward, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye bye.